Burman Cat vs. Balinese Cat What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Burman communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. They typically weigh 6 to 12 pounds. Named for the exotically graceful dancers on the Indonesian island of Bali, the Balinese is a long-haired variety of Siamese. They typically weigh 5 to 10 pounds. Burman has a silky, medium-length coat and the pointed pattern of the Siamese, meaning that the color is darker on the face, ears, legs, and tail, a broad, rounded head topped with medium-sized ears, bright blue eyes that give him a sweet expression, and four white feet that give him the appearance of wearing little white mittens. This is a medium-sized to large cat with a stocky, powerful body that belies his gentle demeanor. The medium long to long coat has a silky texture and little undercoat, which means that it rarely mats. It forms a heavy ruff around the neck and is wavy on the belly. A pale body, which varies in shade depending on the cat's color, is set off by darker points. For instance, a seal point Burman has a body that is a pale fawn to cream color with a warm tone, gradually shading to a lighter color on the belly and chest. The points are a deep seal brown. On the front and back paws are white gloves ending in an even line across the paw. On the back paws, the gloves extend up the back of the leg and end in a point or an inverted V-shape. In the show ring, the symmetry of the gloves and laces is an important factor and may mean the difference between a kitten going on to a career as a show cat or as a pet. Besides seal point, Burmans come in blue point, chocolate point, lilac point, and various party color point and lynx point colors. Lynx point Burmans have a clearly defined M marking on the forehead, light markings that resemble eyeglasses around the eyes, spotted whisker pads, solid colored ears with no stripes, and thumb marks on the back of the ears. The legs and tail have stripes and rings. Except for coat length, the Siamese and the Balinese are indistinguishable, having a svelte but muscular body with long lines and a wedge-shaped head that is long and tapering from the narrow point of the nose outward to the tips of the ears, forming a triangle. The unusually large ears are wide at the base and pointed at the tip, giving them the same triangular shape as the head. medium size eyes are almond-shaped. The body is often described as tubular and is supported by long, slim legs, with the hind legs higher than the front legs. Balinese walks on small, dainty, oval paws and swishes a long, plumed tail that tapers to a fine point. The appearance of the body is softened by a medium-length coat that is fine and silky. It is longest on the plume tail. The Balinese come in the same point colors as the Siamese. Seal, chocolate, blue and lilac. The eyes are always a deep, vivid blue. If you like the pointed pattern of the Siamese but not the Yali voice, a Burman might be the cat for you. He is a docile, quiet cat who loves people and will follow them from room to room. Expect the Burman to want to be involved in what you're doing, and be grateful that he's not as bossy as the Siamese. Docile doesn't mean dumb. The Burman is a smart cat and, of course, curious. He likes to explore his environment, and has been known to get trapped underneath floors that are being replaced or to accidentally, go for a ride on top of a car. It's a good idea to always keep tabs on where he is. He communicates in a soft voice, mainly to remind you that perhaps it's time for dinner or maybe for a nice cuddle on the sofa. He enjoys being held and will relax in your arms like a furry baby. Siamese and Balinese might differ in coat length, but beneath the skin they are identical. Balinese are extremely fond of their people. They like to be helpful and will follow you around and supervise your every move. When you are sitting down, a Balinese will be in your lap, and at night he will be in bed with you, probably under the covers with his head on the pillow. He is frequently underfoot, so he might not be the best choice for people who are unsteady on their feet or use a walker or cane. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. A Balinese is perhaps not quite as loud as his relative the Siamese, but he is most definitely just as opinionated. He will tell you exactly what he thinks, and he expects you to pay attention and act on his advice. You can also count on him to tell all to visitors, so be grateful that most people are not conversant in the Balinese language. Balinese is highly intelligent, agile, and athletic, and loves to play. Keep his busy brain active with puzzle toys, and his body exercised with teaser toys that he can chase and a big cat tree he can climb. He likes to play fetch, is willing to walk on a leash, and learns tricks easily. He is also a good trainer himself and may be running your household before you know it. Never leave him without any form of entertainment, or you will likely come home to find that he has reprogrammed your DVR to record only nature shows or at the very least decided that your toilet paper rolls and tissue boxes look better empty. Do not get a Balinese if living with a chatty busybody would drive you insane. 
On the other hand, if you enjoy having someone to talk to throughout the day, the Balinese can be your best friend. Just be sure you have time to spend with this demanding and social cat. Balinese don't mind staying home during the day while you go off to earn money to buy cat food, but they will expect you to devote time to them when you are at home. It can be smart to get two of them so they can keep each other company. Choose a Balinese if you look forward to spending time with and interacting with your cat. This is a loyal and loving feline who will pout and pine if given little or no attention. In the right home, however, he thrives for years. Despite the length of the Burman's coat, it has a silky texture that doesn't mat easily. Comb it weekly to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. Burmans shed their winter coat in the spring, so you may want to comb more frequently than to remove loose hair. A warm bath can also help to loosen and remove the shedding coat. To accomplish a Burman bath, wetting the cat with a handheld shower nozzle is often preferable to immersing him in a tub of water. The fine, silky coat of the Balinese is easily cared for. Comb it once or twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep their litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a clean litter box will help to keep the coat clean as well. It's a good idea to keep a Burman and Balinese as an indoor-only cat to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Burmans and Balinese who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The friendly, laid-back Burman is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He doesn't mind playing dress-up or going for a ride in a baby buggy. The active and social Balinese is a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. He will play fetch as well as any retriever and learns tricks easily. They are lives peacefully, happy and loves the attention he receives from children who treat him politely and with respect. Always introduce pets slowly and in controlled circumstances to ensure that they learn to get along together. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.